Mary, Abigail, Kavena, Ula, Kalani, Ahikiaka, Ikapolio, Pele, Kavehine, Aihonua, Na Le Lehua, Pele Pukui, was born on April 20th, 1895, in Kau, Hawaii, to one Henry Nathaniel Wiggins and Mary Paahana Kanakohle. Kavena is of Hawaiian ancestry and white. Kavena authored and co-authored over 50 titles pertaining to Hawaiian language. She worked as a translator at the Bishop Museum, where she spent most of her time translating Hawaiian newspapers, writing Hawaiian literature, and conducting fieldwork. In 1977, Kavena was an honoree of the Hanpa Hongwenji Mission of Hawaii's Living Treasures of Hawaii Award. The Living Treasures of Hawaii recognizes and honors individuals who have demonstrated excellence in their particular field of endeavors. And in 1995, she was an honoree of the Hawaiian Music Hall of Fame. You may access the poem at this case-sensitive URL or by scanning the QR code with your smartphone's camera. This poem is titled Ka Eva and it was written and translated by Mary Kavena Pukui. For this assignment, I will be analyzing the English translation. Ka Eva. This is a song for you, the Eva bird, so relaxing, gliding easily, gliding easily by the front of the cliff. His back is as straight as a cliff, his face as bright as the moon. It's a beautiful sight, it's a beautiful sight. You are my sweetheart. Your eyes are tantalizing, they're drawing the heart. It's just like the beauty, it's just like the beauty, sitting in the shade of the ohia tree. The birds gather about to enjoy your appealing scent. You are likened to the makale, you are likened to the makale, always being attractive forevermore. To all, my story is told of the eva bird, quietly poised, gliding easily, gliding easily, before the face of the cliffs. Central idea. This poem's superficial idea tells of the mating rituals a male frigate bird must display to attract him a mate. However, the poem's kauna, or hidden meaning, is an expression of a love between two people seeking courtship. Tone. The poem's tone is of romance, happiness, and excitement. It's, you know, that tingly feeling in your gut when you see your crush. In stanza two, his back is as straight as a cliff, his face as bright as the moon, is a Hawaiian proverb used to describe a very handsome person. It sure sounds like the speaker is checking him out. Stanza three further supports the tone. Your eyes are tantalizing, they're drawing near the heart. It seems as if the male is teasing her as he inflates his red guller sack. Literal meaning. The speaker is a female frigate bird. In stanza one, the female frigate bird dedicates the poem to the male bird that she's been eyeing up from the ground as he glides by the cliffside. In stanza two, she describes his back as a cliff and his face as the moon and without him knowing, she calls him her sweetheart. In stanza three, she says, your eyes are tantalizing, like she's watching him as he sits in the shade of the ohia tree. Stanza five, she says, to all my story is told. It's like she's confessing her love for the Eva bird that she's been stalking. The audience is two people searching for their soulmates, or perhaps two secret lovers. It seems as if she keeps watching him from afar because she repeats the lines, gliding easily, it's a beautiful sight, and it's just like the beauty. The setting is near the ocean cliffside in the pleasant afternoon breeze. She's on the ground watching him glide far above with his seven foot wide wingspan. This poem is eternal because it talks about love.
artistry form. The poem is written in five stanzas with five lines each. Each stanza has double lines. Lines three and four of each stanza repeats. I feel that the double lines are an emphasis on the female's obsession with her potential lover. Stanza one is dedication to the person's lover or crush. Stanza five is similar to stanza one, but her dedication turns into a confession of love. Artistry, imagery. The female frigate bird is gliding effortlessly on the updraft caused by the sea cliff. Another imagery is the frigate bird sitting in the shade of the ohia tree. In stanza four, it states, the birds gather about to enjoy your appealing scent. You are likened to the makale. You are likened to the makale, always being attractive forevermore. The Hawaiians believe the makale tree is a supernatural tree and that its scent can attract fish. Kavena compares the gathering of birds to the gathering of fish as if his scent is the bait to allure his mate. Quietly poised shows the frigate bird's self-confidence and with his inflated heart-shaped guller sack, he will find a soulmate. Conclusion. This poem can be linked to Pi'ilani's story and to Kalu'i Ko'olau himself. In Pi'ilani's story, she too uses the wine proverb, his back is as straight as a cliff, his face as bright as the moon, to describe her husband as being handsome. Quietly poised reminds me of the self-confidence that Kalu'i Ko'olau had. Something unique about the poem is the hidden meaning, or kauna. At first, it may seem like a story of the frigate bird's mating rituals, but the hidden meaning is a love story between two people. Evaluation. Yes, I believe that Ka Eva is a good poem because it speaks of love. The mating process of the frigate bird is used to express the love journey between two human beings. Ka Eva is relevant today because people try to dress up, use filters, or wear makeup to attract their sweethearts. I chose to analyze Ka Eva because in 2006 I had the opportunity to perform at the Mary Marner Kula Festival. Visit this case-sensitive URL or scan the QR code with your smartphone's camera to experience Ka Eva through hula choreography.